You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Dane. Album review. Kamikaze. Eminem. Episode 3. Lucky You. Song by song breakdown, man. This this good art takes time. I told you motherfuckers about that. So much time, I ran out on the last episode. The greatest. And I stopped on the last bar. You know what I'm saying? So I give y'all, if you seen that, the bar for that. It says, like a wedding band, you gotta be diamond, not at least climbing the ring. Anomaly, I'm Muhammad Ali, because I knew one day I'm gonna be the greatest in the world. Aside from the syllable game on that, a wedding band, you gotta be diamond to be in the ring. Of course, a wedding requires a diamond ring, usually. But he's saying uh, you have to be diamond as an artist to even climb in the ring to even fuck with me. Anomaly, rare, an exception. A Muhammad Ali, that's a metaphor to the greatest. And the song is greatest. And he said, I knew one day I'm going, I would be the greatest in the world. So that finishes that off. I gave that song a 9.5. That's probably my favorite song overall on the album. Beat, hook, three killer verses. And now we can get into this song. Lucky You, Joyner Lucas, shout out to you. Young Bull, Ready, Eminem, Legend, Been Ready. And it's, it's, Ironic because uh, Joyner's verse is comparable to M's in that it's a young boy trying to get it and M covers it as an old boy who's already got it. We'll get to that with the bars. Let's break them down. Joyner's verse is first. It starts, I done did a lot of things in my day. I admit it. I don't take back what I say. If I said it, then I meant it. All my life I won a Grammy, man. I probably never get it. I ain't had no, tro- I ain't never had no trophy or a motherfucking ribbon. Fuck the system. So pretty much a hungry young buck talking about he talk shit and he'll never take it back. He won a Grammy, probably never get it. And he ain't had no trophy or no fucking ribbon. So fuck this system. Young boy got a lot of anger and angst built up. Eating, y'all been eating long enough. It's my turn to cut the food past the plate. Where my drink? This my day. Lucky you. Fuck you too. So still a young boy saying I, it's time for me to eat. Killer. More bars I fuck with. Back on my hood shit is back to the pushing these packs and I'm actually pumping. Can't fuck with you rappers. You practically suck and might, you might doing platinum, but that don't mean nothing. I agree. That's why I fuck with that bar so heavy. Just because you sell records, that's a testament to your label. Not you and your skill and what you write, what you put out. So I fucked with that heavy. More I fucked with. I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains, and some blades, and a couple of nines. Choppers and jammies, a partridge and pear tree. My torn days and Christmas was nothing but lies. I... That's my part because a partridge and a pear tree, that's the song reference to uh, a Christmas carol. But he said I had choppers and jammies. So my Christmas was told was nothing but lies. So I don't live in that world. Other bars. I live on Mars. I'm not Bruno. Bitch, I'm a dog. Call me Cujo. Bruno Mars. And he said he live on Mars. He's out of this planet. Dog, Cujo. You know that. You heard that before. You play your cards. I reverse on you all. And I might just draw four like I'm Uno. That's my favorite line he got. You play your cards, I reverse on you all. So whatever you trying to do, I switch it up. And I might just draw four. I might hit you with that four, four piece. Not a four piece, but that four, that burner. Might just draw four like I'm Uno. And Uno, you got a reverse card and a draw four. Cold right there. Another segment, I liked his scheme and his flow on there. I've been alone and I never needed nobody. Just only me and my shoddy. I tell these niggas to lie down. I like that part and that whole scheme and that segment. And he finishes, you in a wrong cab, down a wrong path, wrong way, wrong road. Snakes in the grass trying to slither fast. I just bought a fucking lawnmower. So if you a snake grimy nigga trying to maneuver, I just bought a lawnmower to cut all that shit off. A metaphor, pretty much. Lawnmower could be chopper. But he got he got something to fix that problem of you snakes. And then I forgot the hook. The hook he started in the beginning. Y'all got to move. Y'all gotta move. Simple, just bang to the beat. Something you can nod to. It'll lower you into these lyrics, nigga. <laughs> M comes right after Lymore. I done said a lot of things in my day. I admit it. This is payback in the way. I regret it that I did it. I done won a couple Grammys, but I sold my soul to get them. So that's the exact opposite of Joyner's verse. He said he never won Grammys. M said he won Grammys. He said the shit he said, he don't regret it. M said he do regret it. So it's like hindsight versus the now factor you know what i'm saying and he continues i've been eating long enough man my stomach should be full i just ate lick my plate my buffet lucky me fuck you think 
he been eating long enough. Jordan said he ain't eat yet. I just about time I eat. So they contrasting characters on the same song. It's a little concept within it. All right. I got a couple of mansions. Still, I don't have any manners. You got a couple of ghostwriters, but to these kids, it don't actually matter. That's a Drake diss and anybody who has a ghostwriter. You, you know who you are. If you got some shit written for you, that's for you. But to these kids, it don't actually matter. The standard is lower today. You don't you have to be an artist who don't write your shit and they can still love you as a hip hop MC. The art of MCing is lyrical capability. I wrote they shit down cause to, uh, to dissect it. You know what I'm saying? But it's different now. To these kids, it don't actually matter. They asking me what the fuck happened to hip hop. I said I don't have any answers because I took a nap when I dropped my last album. It hurt me like hell, but I'm back on these rappers. Talking about revival. He took a little nap. Not saying it was garbage, but it wasn't up to par M shit. But I'm back on these rappers. So revival forced kamikaze. Same way, relapse forced recovery. I thought relapse was cold, but M didn't like relapse and the reception wasn't that good. So it forced recovery, which to me is some of the coldest work I done heard album wise. Go check out recovery. All right. Continues the bar game. I'm actually coming from humble beginnings. I'm somewhat uncomfortable winning. I wish I could say what a wonderful feeling. We're on the upswing like we're punching the ceiling. Upswing means you're on forward progress. But an upswing is like an uppercut, like we're punching the ceiling. So you aiming up. Punchline. But I'm coming from humble beginnings. I just took an L, so now it feels different. It's somewhat uncomfortable when not on one so much. I wish I could say a wonderful feeling. I'm on the upswing like I'm punching the ceiling. But nothing is feeling like anyone has any fucking ability to even stick to a subject is killing me. Like these niggas can't even rap on topic. The inability to pin humility. To have humility as a person is cool. You, 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 um, don't, not high on ego. You don't brag. You don't boast. You modest. But to, for your pen to be modest, that's a diss. Your pen is modest, that means it's weak. Your pen needs to show out. The pen humility, hubba the bubba the, why don't we make a bunch of fucking songs about nothing and mumble them? Hubba the bubba is the reference to these rappers now mumbling and making songs about nothing. So that's what he did directly. Fuck it, I'm going for the juggler. Your head, but juggler, like a person who juggles shit. Shit is a circus. So juggle circus, you clowns that are coming up, talking about the rappers now, but that's clowns, all a scheme reference to the circus. I'm going for the juggler shit, it's a circus, you clowns that are coming up, don't give an ounce or a motherfucker about the ones, who is he talking about? The ones who made rap for these niggas, that don't respect them, dissing them on interviews and shit. The ones who were here before you that made rap, cause recap, way back, MCs that wreak havoc, some tape decks, A that's with a G raps, submissions G raps, and Kane's at, we need three stacks, so Andre three stacks. Big Daddy Kane, ASAP, and bring Master Ace back, so Master Ace, because half of these rappers have brain damage, talking about today's rapper, all the lean rap and face tat syruped up like tree sap. <laughs> so quick simile, syruped up like tree sap, but he's talking about the lean that they do. These new generation rappers all look the same and do the same shit. So we need three stacks, Big Daddy Kane, G-Rap. He said somebody at first, I didn't know who it was, Master Ace. He, he gives a lot of references of type of hip-hop he fuck with on this album cypress hill these niggas more references and he continues i don't hate trap and i don't want to seem mad but in fact with an old me at the same cat who would take that feedback and aim back i need that <laughs> that's my part because the last era is more competitive so he's saying like oh yeah i'm dissing but the same me would take that feedback and aim back i need that like, nigga, if you want to diss me, this is hip-hop. This is part of the sport. I'm going to come back for your ass. So, nigga, do it. This is hip-hop. It's not supposed to be lovey-dovey on the field. <laughs> All right, he continues, and his flow switches up. But I think it's inevitable they know a button to press or a lever to pull to give me the snap, though. A lever snaps. When you when you push a lever down, it's, it'll snap. Button to press. Okay, a button, same as a, as a metaphor for the lever. And if I'm, make, if I'm paying attention, I'm probably making it bigger. But you could take any dicks in the fucking back hole. Now, for me, he's saying, if I, if I give you notoriety, I'm making it bigger. But it could be a metaphor. If I pay it attention, I'm probably making it bigger. If it is referencing his dick, it would make sense. Cause, but you could take any dicks in the fucking back hole. If I'm making it bigger, you could take the dick in the back. Back hole or back hole. I don't know. That's a questionable one. M, holla at me. I told you before, nigga. Alright, and his flow switches again. He got like five different flows on this shit. 
on a brink any minute got me thinking of finishing everything we see just diminishing i'm reaping the benefits i'm asleep at the will again so on a brink i'm going crazy got me thinking of killing everything you see it diminishing while i'm reaping the benefits sleep at the will again that mean i'm going crazy if you sleep at the will what's gonna happen nigga crash as i'm peeking and thinking of a, as i'm peeking and thinking about an evil incentive of another beat i'm a kill again so i got thoughts in my head to just destroy shit on a crate kill another beat on some kamikaze shit because even if i gotta end up eating a pill again even ketamine and methamphetamine well then it better be at least 70 or 300 milligrams and I might as well because I'm going to end up being a villain again. <laughs> so he's referencing back to the OM for like the second time already in three tracks. That the OM is going to take over this new me. And I'm finna go back to that shit and destroying the game. And I might start taking pills again. Because <laughs> I might as well because I'm going to end up being a villain again for what I'm doing to y'all niggas. I'm attacking the whole game. Continue. My One of my favorite segments of the album. There's so many segments. God damn. One of my favorites. Levels to this shit, I got an elevator. You can never say to me, I'm not a fucking record breaker. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. Nobody could ever take away the legacy I made. I never gave a motherfuck. Now I got a right to be this way. I got spite inside my DNA. But I rode till the wheels fall off. I'm working tirelessly. Hey. <laughs> that's the co that's one of my coded segments. Because for one, levels to this shit. He got levels to this shit. He's an elevator. I got an elevator. An elevator has levels. You can never say to me, I'm not a fucking record breaker. I break records, you feel me? So I sound like a broken record. That's a, a axiom, a phrase, a catch you say. Uh, you sound like a broken record when you say the same shit over and over. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. So every time you break a record, it's, duh, it's a broken record over and over. You can never take away the, or you can never take away the legacy I made. I never gave a motherfuck. I never cared. And I got a right to be this way. I got spite inside my DNA. So if you wonder why an album like this comes out, he just told you I got spite inside my DNA. So I might get back at you. But I rode till the wheels fall off. I'm working tirelessly. Hey, <laughs> if you ride something till the wheels fall off, that means you do it to the end. So he's pretty much saying I'll rap till the wheels fall off. I'm working tirelessly. I'm working to the end. But the other catch of that is with the wheels fall off, you're tireless. I'm working tirelessly. Hey, and the A is just playing with these new era rap niggas again. That ain't his ad libs. A lot of these ad libs ain't his. He's just mocking the fucking game. He's poking fun at the game the whole time. And he finishes. It's the moment y'all been waiting for, like California wishing rain to pour, and that drought y'all been praying for, my downfall. From the eight mile to the south pass to the same marshal that outlaw that they say as a rider might have fell off and back on that bull like a cowboy. <laughs> So that segment right there is cool. For one, how he was delivering is like another flow again. This is six different flow I just switched up on you. So let me make it easy. It's the moment y'all been waiting for like California when it rained and pour and that drought. I like that flow. But of course, California is in a drought, but it's a run on sentence. So you can use in a drought. Y'all been praying for my downfall. He's talking about that. Y'all been praying for my downfall. From the eight mile to the south pole. So radius wise with south pole or eight mile, he could be saying that. But 8 Mile and South Paul are his movies. Still the same Marshall that Outlaw that they say as a rider might have fell off. So Marshall and Outlaw, rider falling off. If you reference all those, those are old Western things. A rider, and he's saying rider, rider. If you ask me, got to ask him to know for sure. Same rider might have fell off. They're saying he fell off as a rider. But a rider can fall off of a horse or a bull. So he's saying I'm back on that bull like a cowboy. So the same rider might have fell off. I'm back on that boy. If I did fall off, I'm back on that boy like a cowboy. Then you see Marshall, outlaw, rider, fell off, bull, cowboy, all old western schemes. <sighs> Eminem, man. Coldest lyricist I done, I done seen in my lifetime. Jordan Lucas, you cold too, young bull. If I had to pick who won, I'd say M, but you did your shit. It ain't no knock to say you lost the M. Every nigga done lost the M. So ain't no knock. I gave this song a 9.1, heavy in the nines again, because it's one of the first three are my favorite three songs of the album. So I think all of these would be in the eights, nines, you know what I'm saying? If I'm doing a review, that means I thought it was cold. So it's the third one. It's your boy, Dame. Let me know what your feedback, what you thought went over my head or what I misinterpreted. Let me know what you thought of the song. Lucky you. Check it out. It's your boy, Dame, man. Skit and Normal is coming next. So I just want you to be normal for the ones who heard it. It's your boy, Dan.